Hey guys, welcome to another Mini Z video. So it's night time here, so the light won't be as good as during the day. So if you've been watching some of my recent videos, you'll know I love this Nissan R390 because it just drives so beautifully and it just sticks to the road so well. So I'm using the smooth side of the tiles and it just does not move around, it doesn't slip. Again, because I'm standing in a different position from where the camera is, it's changed how it drives for me. <laughs> Not driving it as well as it did just before I started recording. I have to find all the spots for the camera. Well, the good news is I love this one so much, I've converted another one over to 102mm low mount. So I'll introduce the Nissan's friend. So my new 102mm wheelbase car is a Mazda 787B. So it's the black test car version, and I've also got the autoscale body of the, the one I think they call it the victory one, the one that won Le Mans. But since I've actually got several of these black test ones, I just thought I'd drive with this one for now. Alright, so I'll switch off the Nissan and have a drive with the Mazda. Now, I don't know if you can see much difference between the Mazda and the Nissan, but the Mazda is easier to drive than the Nissan, so they're both going really, really well. So, because the 102mm wheelbase cars have just been so fantastic, I've decided to buy uh, a Sauber Mercedes C9, so that should arrive within a week or so. Oops, got my Mazda stuck. I'll just do a few more laps with the Mazda. Seems that tonight I'm driving the Nissan a bit better than Mazda, but a few nights ago I was driving Mazda better than Nissan. Also, I've purchased an auto scale version of the Toyota GT1, which is another 102mm wheelbase car. When that one arrives, I'll probably convert another 98mm chassis over to run that body on. I'm just finding these 1 or 2 millimeter cars are just so stable on the track, which is great. Right, there you have it. So Mazda was a success. And of course, you know I love the Nissan. So fingers crossed that the Sauber and the Toyota GG1 are also going to be good on the track. Thanks for watching, guys.